You're the wind in my sails. You're the pull of the sea. You're the wish in the well. You're my faithful belief. If the whole wide world was offered to me, still you'd be all I need. Today is a day to celebrate. We're celebrating the love and the commitment and the friendship of these two people who wish to spend the rest of their lives together. The marriage ceremony is significant. It's significant to every culture, to every religion, and to every generation. Despite all of our differences, we know what love is. And love may be different for you, and it may look different for you, but we know love when we see it. And I do believe we're seeing it right here. Would you agree? You're the first of the year, a warm kiss in the cold. You're the whisper in my ear when I need it the most. If I was cast on an island and could only bring one thing, still you'd be all I need. What lovely angelic light you bring into the room. Radiant as an amber leaf kissed by the sun in autumn. What pure childlike joy and peace you give me to see your smile, to hear your voice and your laugh, to be able to look into your eyes and know that you, Emma, are my truest love, my only love until the end of time. <laughs> when you appear, all the rivers within me sound. Bells shake the sky and a hymn fills my world. I've known no other way to live since, since seeing in you my future wife. Our love is a dream that has grown beyond a redwood's height toward the heavens into a love which gives me daily pause, stunned in awe that it is so real. And in that pause your presence washes over me, presence I feel infinitely. An awareness of our love for one another lives inside me, at this point instilled in me as if it's been there since birth. And when I awake, it is a wonder that often I can look at you again to find you gazing back to me, your radiant blue eyes shining, and realize we're already there above the clouds. And I'm confident that there we will forever be. For in my heart you do no wrong, you are the best among us among them all, and I'll always know that to be true. <sighs> trust may have felt as though it came slowly, but know, my love, my trust in you is whole. There are no voids, no doubts, no cautious thoughts. I will not waver in my confidence that our love will last beyond our natural lives. For no matter where we go in the end, in you I see my angel. I vow to always be your friend, your confidant, your confidant, your sounding board, your spider killer, your support, your protection. I vow to never let small differences of opinion get the best of us, to respect your wishes and your opinions, to communicate as best I can, to disclose my worries, my fears, my joys, and my passions. And I vow to invite you deeper into learning me so that we grow only closer together. With that in mind, I vow to remain flexible, patient, and humble. I vow to hold dear our love as an unbreakable commitment toward one another. Even through death, my heart will be yours. I vow to love you as best I can, to keep your love tank filled every day, forever. Cameron, my life with you is a dream come true. From the start, you've understood how shy and private I can be, and you've always shown me the utmost respect and patience. As friends, we connected immediately, leading us to develop the strong and stable foundation we have in our romantic and loving relationship. We share the same passions, and our strengths and our weaknesses overlap in truly complementary ways 
allowing us to help each other in all aspects of life. Your everlasting sweetness and your smile light up my world, and I adore you more and more with each passing day. I love how we are always laughing and being goofy together, and that we are always eager to be in each other's company. You are the most patient, committed, loving, ambitious, and genuine man, and I feel so lucky that we have found each other. You are a constant inspiration to me, and I love growing with you. I know that life isn't easy and that we are bound to encounter difficulties. I vow to be by your side through everything life throws us. I vow to be patient and flexible, to be kind and to be uplifting during the good and the bad days. I vow to be there for you and for us, full support mode. I love you, Cameron, forever and always. So, do you, Cameron, take Emma to be your lawfully wedded wife? Absolutely, I do. And do you, Emma, take Cameron to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Colorado, I pronounced them man and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Mel and Emma Bentley. Cameron? Kiss your bride. All I need. Hey, oh. How do I say how much you really mean when I can't find no words to speak? Just know you're all I need. What greater thing is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined together to strengthen each other in all labor, to minister to each other in all sorrow, to share with each other in all goodness, to be one with each other in the silent, unspoken memories. There comes a point of time when someone meets that one true person, that person who will love and take care of them for the rest of their lives. This happened for Cameron when he met me at LSU Hospital some 10 odd years ago while we were targeting cancer. Not many people know this, but Cameron actually was midway in his masters where he was doing incredibly well. Yet he took a decision that would change his life forever. Let me take a step back and tell you that I actually got a call around 12 a.m. In, in the night and this is what he said man I like research but I really don't think that I want to do this for the rest of my life within a lab he ended up not only taking a break from the lab but he flew all the way to Kenya where he shadowed surgeons saving the lives of many many kids when we spoke upon his return this is what he said Sam, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to become a doctor. That very moment, I knew that I was looking into the eyes of a grown man who knows exactly what he wants. Mate, if you had not made that decision, we all will not be sitting right here. Because in his med school, he found his soulmate, Emma Bentley. It reminded me of a fellow named Aristotle who said, true love is when one soul inhabits two human beings. I didn't think that was attainable until I saw how your vows were crafted and delivered. I think maybe it is. Cameron gave me the respect of calling me and asking for Emma's hand. And, um, I'd been hoping for that call for quite a while. <clears throat> and uh, just like now, I almost started to tear up because I um, really love Cameron. I feel honored to call you my sister-in-law. And really uh, thank all of you for being here. We put a lot of work into this. 
And I think it came out pretty good. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes. With all the COVID going on and all this nastiness we got in the world today, it's nice to see that we can still enjoy each other's company and witness something very special. Congratulations, guys. I'm coming to see you. Like, I adore this woman. She has been amazing, and she has been a constant in my life. And when I found out she got engaged, I didn't even have to ask if Cameron was a good guy. You could already tell by the way she talked about him, but the way she, she smiled. Like, have you seen this smile? Like, look how happy she is. If there's any advice I can leave you, and it's something my grandparents always say at every wedding, it's if you guys are fighting, and you're still fighting, fight naked. <laughs> That's how you'll get through it. I love you, and I wish you guys all the happiness. I just want to say that I'm so grateful to you, Cameron. Um, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but just knowing that my precious sister here has the kind of love that I feel that you've given her and will continue to show her just brings me so much peace. Um, I love you both. Um, I'm so happy to that our families have joined like this, and um, congratulations. And I probably will never forget the first time that you guys actually became public, and we all met up uh, at D Cider. And Cam was sitting there with his arm around Emma for the first time with the heart eye emoji face. I didn't even know that could happen on a human, but it was that. And he just could not have looked more proud and excited to have her on his arm. I already love Cam anyways, but could not. <laughs> could not be more happy for Emma. There is no more real friend. I'm very grateful for you and I love you guys. Uh, I'm Jerry. I'm Cameron's dad. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. We love you, Cameron. We love you, Emma. Offered to me, still you'd be all I need. Oh, you'd be all I need.